I haven't got any money, so you're gonna need to get rid of the kids then. No! What should we do? I don't know. Let's, Let's make, make a trail. So off they walked into the forest, and Clever Hansel and Gretel dropped the trail of stones. Cause Hansel and Gretel both have their metal Mum and Dad are making them sad And want them out to scream and shout at the picnic I'm here on this project as a writer-director So let's make a trail so we can find our way home So we're using a devising process to um, develop the, the, the story So the, the, we're working on the story of Hansel and Gretel It's a story that, that most kids are going to be really familiar with but it also contains some themes that can possibly resonate with the experiences of disabled children. Okie doke, that sounds brilliant. Yeah, and so remember to play that, that breadcrumb game, yeah? Okay, let's do it again, shall we? That's really good, Tanika. Thank you. Who did that, Peyton? Is it you? I like being messy and I like changing how things look, making them look like something they're not at all. Brilliant. 20% of children have severe medical or physical needs, and so we have created a curriculum uh, stressing the creative. Uh, side of the curriculum as much as we possibly can. Yes. Um, we also wanted to look a little bit at um, independent living skills and also communication. Yeah, I, don't want to up. I can do it, I can do it. There you go. We got messy in art. Yesterday and today um, we've been working with our project. Uh, we were making masks for Hansel and Gretel. And on Friday, we'll put all that we've learned into one thing of doing an actual performance for the best of the school and for parents. So it's been actually boss. It's, it's fun, real fun. We've been working um, in the field of AMT for, for many years um, and it's obvious to us the, the impact that it has on um, the kind of participants that we're working with. What does new technology mean? What do you think it means? I don't know. Oh, well done Ruthie. Specifically for this project I'm bringing the kind of music technology side and the assistive music technology side. It's harder with this Is it harder? You're doing very well with that. You're doing it, aren't yeah. you? So we're looking at using sound beams where we can trigger sounds just by using movement in the air. We've got switches set up so we can record our own sound effects and then trigger them just by hitting these big switches. We're using iPads with different apps on that we can use to trigger different sounds and instruments. They'll be triggering it all and they'll be making all the music on the day so now we're just setting it all up for them. And there's a real sense of ownership um, and decision making that comes from the participants. Um, when they're, they're making music on their own terms using these bits of kit. There's a new thing I want to show you and it's called a voice transformer and what makes this even more magical is the fact that you don't even have to record it, it can do it for real. And what the... <laughs> and um, you go asleep. 
Here in this school there are children with lots of different ability and I've learned that they were they are very willing to take on anything that I give them and um, they're very open minded and they are very, very creative and they were, they are willing to try on anything. Um, I really enjoy all styles of music and mostly performing. I also like teaching music. That's what I do to teach you, but I love to keep on doing more of it. at the beginning of the week, I had to explain who I was and about my hearing impairment and that I had to stand there with interpreter. It has helped them become really aware. I think they realised that I'm just wanting to get on with making music. Let's try that on chair. <laughs> Ruth is a virtuoso flautist and a deaf musician and she was someone who was keen to um, develop her practice, um, her workshop delivery and possibly explore assistive music technology as something that she could maybe um, add. You could put the microphone under the cooker. Yeah, you could, we could do. I won't change that now. No, <laughs> no, no. All four um, Drake Associates are so creative in their, their um, approach to the learning environment and the creative curriculum. Um, they've got an exceedingly great um, relationship with the, both children and staff. The Drake team have blended brilliantly into the school. Are you doing the music first, Ruthie? No, no, no. I'm so scared. I don't school. No. You can do this brilliantly. I'm not really scared. It's what she did, didn't I? <laughs>
Celtic music and letting us perform this. It was really fun. Thank you. So it's been an investment for Springwood Heath and an investment in creativity. Um, that, that must be what this school uh, is about because for many of our children, learning by listening or learning by speaking is not possible, but learning by doing and feeling and experiencing makes it very possible. <laughs> it's all of Josh's group. It's the four and a half days that they've got from it previously. That's the team building, the skills, the emotional well-being that they've got from it. That matters. Yeah. Wait, what's going on? Hafsa? Hafsa, can I just have a swig and we drink? 